Hey, and welcome back. So today we are going to cook a dun, 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 spaghetti squash. So this might sound really simple. Um, and it might sound like common sense, but here's the deal. I actually, when I, gosh, if you rewind eight years ago, I did not, I thought this was just squash. Like I had had acorn squash, I had had butternut squash, and I had her, I had, I, I had, um, I was aware of this at the store, but I was more about the obese. I was 288 pounds. I wasn't trying to cook spaghetti squash. I was cooking spaghetti. <laughs> and so I remember the first time I saw this cook, like I ate it and I was like, okay, that's not so bad. Like, how do you cook that? And I had no freaking idea. And so if you're on here because you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to find food substitutions, you've watched any of our videos, you've heard me talk about spaghetti squash. And so I want to show you the simple, easy way to cook a spaghetti squash. And so when you go to the store, um, they come in, they come in lots of different sizes. This is a, this is a medium ish size one they come much smaller and they i'd say medium to this is medium to large they come much smaller and then they also come a little bit bigger but this is a this is a pretty large spaghetti squash this will feed my entire family um there's four of us that currently eat there's a baby but she's still sucking on a bottle so she's not eating yet but anyway this this one this size will feed our entire family so first thing i have my oven preheating to 450 degrees all right I'm gonna take this sticker off. In most grocery stores, when you start looking for these, most grocery stores have them. Walmart, Kroger, Sprouts, H-E-B, Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly. It's my favorite one to say. No matter what part of the country you're in, most all grocery stores have spaghetti squash. So you are, the, this, the hardest part about the spaghetti squash is what we're about to do right now, which is cutting it. So please be careful. Um, these things are a booger to cut. So you're gonna get a sharp knife. I like to get one of these big giant ones and you're going to, I like to like keep your fingers back. Okay, let me just say that. So you're going to basically pierce it and I like to work it in a little bit and then I come down, okay? Then I'm gonna go the other way. So I'm gonna, same thing. I spun it around, work it in and then come down again keep your fingers because I'm cutting through this core thing right now so keep your fingers out of the way all right now I'm gonna go back to the other side starting to work around the other side I've done this a few times it might not look like it but the first couple times I did this I was like a hot mess took me a very long time and then you just take it apart. So this is what it looks like when you, there's all different kinds of seeds. And like, if you've ever taken out a pumpkin, you'll notice that stringy stuff. So grab a bowl and you are going to scrape out all the seeds and all that like gushy stuff. And it works best if you just have a spoon. Anything that's stringy in there, you're going to scrape it out. And when you're done scraping it out, it's going to be left looking just like that. So you're gonna do this to both sides of it. And I can remember like Googling how to cook a spaghetti squash. And one of the things that people kept doing is they kept adding like olive oil to it which is completely fine, but today I'm gonna to show you how to cook it with no olive oil, no nothing. Because if you're trying to lose weight and you're counting calories, like if I'm gonna use a fat, and, and olive oil, butter, all those things are considered a fat, and they have a crap ton of calories. So if I'm going to use it, I want to be able to taste it. I don't want it just to be adding calories to my food and I can't even taste it. So I'm gonna show you, and I've, I've cooked them with oil, without oil. I have cooked spaghetti squash every which way. And what I can tell you is the way I'm gonna show you right now, which is adding no additional calories to the spaghetti squash, it easy peasy, works beautiful every single time. All right, so here we have our spaghetti squash in half. 
you line a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. Okay. You are going to take said cookie or take, take said cookie sheet. Take this bad boy right here. Take your spaghetti squash, put it face down on the cookie sheet. Take the other half, put it face down on the cookie sheet right there. The only additional step you could do is you could sprinkle some salt on it right now if you want to. I don't. I season it when we're all done. Again, I've done it every which way. This is my most favorite way. I've been doing it like this for years. Um, I did it all every which way for years. This is my go-to. So it's on there. We're going to go ahead and stick this into the oven that's already preheated to 450 degrees. Almost done. One minute left. And time is up. Get this baby out of the oven and onto the counter. Sometimes it does bubble up and that's okay. We're gonna let this sit and cool. Okay, so now that our spaghetti squash has cooled, um, I you're gonna lift it up off of the baking pan and turn it over. It's still gonna be a little hot. Now you can wait for it to cool completely. I like to scrape it out when it's still a little bit warm. So just because there's gonna be steam, I like to wear a mitt. You don't have to if you have like really tough hands, knock yourself out. But now you're just going to need a fork. So here I have a fork. I have my spaghetti squash, all right? I'm going, I normally just get a regular bowl, plastic bowl, glass bowl, and you're going to just start here on the sides. By the way, this roasted for 45 minutes. And you can kind of start to see it's noodly. So you're just going to work it you really can't do this the wrong way, but you're just gonna get it away from the side. And then I just like to turn it. <laughs> I've never done this on camera, so I'm like trying to be conscious of you guys and the angles. So in every spaghetti squash, so if I have a smaller spaghetti squash, um, I would maybe roast this for, you know, five to 10 minutes less but it's anywhere between 35 and 45 minutes, just depending on the size of the spaghetti squash. 45 minutes is a pretty safe, a pretty safe bet. And this is just going to start peeling out of the squash. So I'll show you in just a second here. So see how it's just kind of peeling out and noodle and it ought like it ought, the first time I saw this, I was like, do you use a special tool? Is it like zoodles? Can you guys see the steam? <laughs> but no, it just comes out in spaghetti-ish type texture. And then when you're done, you're just left with this. Now, some people um, would mix this up with stuff. You can put it back in here and bake it, and then you serve it in like the halves, if you will. And this is the consistency you're gonna have like a noodle type consistency. And the thing I like about this, it doesn't have a really strong taste to it, which is awesome. And so it picks up like, so if you make this with, you know, a marinara sauce, a meat sauce, whatever, a healthy Alfredo, whatever it is, even if you made a full fat Alfredo, like with all the calories in it, at least you're also not getting the calories from the noodles as well and for a cup of noodles you're looking at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of calories versus a cup of spaghetti squash is so 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 much less so in this spaghetti squash for some reason and you can always tell like sometimes they're a little bit older and they're a little bit drier sometimes they're a little bit moister and you really can't tell that from the store they all taste just fine um but this one's a little bit moister, which means it's a little bit fresher. And again, I had no idea about that when I was buying it. They all taste just fine. You can just tell when you're getting the meat out of your spaghetti squash that it's, oh, this is a little fresher. It's a little bit, again, you have your, and when you're done with it, I just splattered some on me. You're just gonna have the shell. So it's just this really thin paper texture and you can bake this up ahead of time. So you can make it like right before you eat and serve it hot and serve it fresh. Or if you are 
going to make use this tomorrow and you don't want to like let's just say you work all day long and you don't want to take the time to roast a spaghetti squash when you get home from work you just want to get home and make the spaghetti sauce and serve it so you can make this the night before and when you make it the night before put it in the fridge as it cools one of the things that hold on let me grab this so it will have a little bit of liquid to it and you can either just put it in a strainer in the sink or I'm just pouring it here on my pan, whatever you want to do. I don't really like it liquidy, but it will have just a little bit of liquid in it. So anyway, hope this has helped. If you have enjoyed anything you've watched, give the video a thumbs up. Um, we have some other great videos with cooking, weight loss tips. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any tips. We are live here on the channel every single Tuesday night as well. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.